Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm here with my dreamy wife, Laura. And we're, Thank you. <laughs> we're here to look at Girl Talk Dateline, the board, I mean, the talking dating game. Should I say, what a hunk you oh, are? Oh, please. please. <laughs> um, so, uh, Girl Talk, um, there are actually quite a few uh, games on the Girl Talk there's of, one just called Girl Talk. Which we, lucky enough, own, yay. Um, um, there's, there's about four or five. They have something to do with Dream Phone as well? No? Yeah, no, I don't think so. But, but it's very similar, yeah, if so anyone knows that one. There's a whole range of the Girl Talk sort of range of games. But this one's Dateline. Um, it's basically finding a date. For a whole bunch of people. <laughs> and then yourself at the end. Yes. Um, it's, it's a very girly game. Well, it says just for girls, ages <gasps> 10 and Get up. Get out, you can't play. Oh, clearly not. <laughs> um, the one main, I suppose, gimmick of this game is it uses a stereo boombox, ghetto blast, or whatever you want to call it, a cassette tape, and a special sort of speaker thing which plugs into the headphone port. Yes. Now, um, so that's why we've got that here. The tape does work, but it is a little bit It sounds, a, it sounds a bit wobbly. Because of its age. Yeah, <laughs> when I originally brought this, the actual tape had been ripped out, so it sort of winded up with a pen, so... It's amazing it's still working. Yeah, and the other thing is our speaker box. The actual speaker didn't work, so I actually had to take a speaker out of our one of our toddler's old toys and replace it, so it's a bit quieter than what it should be. Yes, so we'll try and make that as loud as possible so that you can actually hear it. Yeah, so it's it's a very basic game. Um, we've played it a couple of times, and it doesn't take very long, especially with only two players. You pretty much just go around the board and you, you pick up cards. You make and, calls. You make calls mm. and, and you try and get a date with people by picking up different... Like, well, date. By, by matching them. Yeah. yeah. Which um, is all random based on what plays on the tape, which you'll hear. But it's not actually that random because it's a tape. But yes. we'll get to that after. <laughs> so let's open up and then we can show you what's inside. So the instructions were missing, so we've just got a printout yes, of the from, instructions. From this lovely person. Yes. And, uh, board Game Geek, because we were missing ours when we got it. Yes. Now, here is the little like speaker thing that Nathan was talking about. So it's just a regular sort of headphone jack. So it's got the speaker sort of part at the back, which, uh, as we said, Nathan has sort of jimmied up a bit there. Yeah. There's the front of it, they're just stickers, and this is the card sort of slot where you'll put your little token card yeah, you put things. a boy and a girl, a girl and a girl, a boy and a boy, and if, if the tape says it's a match when you put them in, it's a match. If yes. not, then obviously it's not. Exactly. So, these are plastic, they're not cards. No. Um, so you get a make a date card, one each, and this is you at the end when you're trying yes. to match yourself. And then we have a whole bunch oh boy. of people. So, Allison, for example, loves cheerleading and speech class, hates spiders and scary movies. So, there's girls and boys. Uh, Homer. Let's see Homer. And they've all got Homer stats. loves computers, uh, loves computer club collecting bugs, but hates sports and school dances. Duh. So, it's, <laughs> it's a very 80s stereotypical, like, yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. Then we just have some... Playing pieces and a die. Then we have the cassette tape, which I believe has 30 minutes in length on each side, and I believe it's identical. Um, Both sides. Yeah. It's very simple. The, the tape basically just says you're either matched or you're not matched with a little funny phone call kind yeah. of snip, uh, and snippet. It, um, it plays constantly throughout the entire game, so you don't stop it in between turns. No. So, the board, we might have to show you after we kind of yeah. set up, because it does fold out quite big. There's look, a little bit of a sneak peek. And, it's very um, Easter sort of pastel, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit. And then we have this inner tray, which is where we keep all of these. And sitting. we still have the original sort of sticker thing, so you have to stick all of them on the uh, originally. So, let's get this all set up and tape in, plugged in and everything, and then we're going to play this for Oh, you. I can't wait. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so we have everything set up. We have all our little cards separated how they should. We have a little speaker box here. We've dealt each other the cards. So we get, you didn't mention, in a two-player game you get three each, and you can pick either to have two girls, one boy, vice versa, whatever, mm -hmm. plus your make a date card, which is making a date for yourself. Uh, so each uh, numbered corner slot has a guy and a girl in it, depending on what you land on and who you have to match. And there's some blind date spaces in the middle as well. Ooh. So... Um, we'll, we'll cover the rules as we play through. It's pretty simple though, but yeah, we'll... But you were going to say there's one particular spot that there's no rules for. Uh, that's the, the take a teen <laughs> card. 
Yeah. Um, so in the printout that we've got, it actually says uh, rules are not provided in the game for the take a team card space. It's best to play them as a trade space. It should be so, this one here. You need new friends to take. Uh, and that's trade a team card. There is one somewhere there's on There's only board. one of them. I can't remember where. Here it where. is. All alone by a telephone. Take a team card. Yeah. So um, we'll just play that as a trade space like it suggests. It's strange that there's no... No. You know. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're just going to play the tape without speaking it in because it actually has raw, like a, an intro at the start and then once that's over we'll plug that in and we'll start. We might not play the whole intro. No. That's Depends fair. on how long it is. <laughs> Are you ready to play Girl Talk Dateline? Oh, yeah. Well, first things first. Stop the tape and make sure to read all the rules yep, of the game. That's We've dumb. done that. <laughs> wait. That's nice that she's waiting for us. If you already mm. know how to play the game, well, that's cool. Enjoying the music. Roll the Pop dice my head. and begin the fun. <clears throat> be sure to keep the tape player running. I'll be talking to you later. Bye! Alright, so we stop there. So it's just a very short intro. So then you basically leave that playing. Um, and we plug this into the headphone. Yeah, so after we plug this in, we press play and leave the tape running the entire game. The only time we hear what it's saying though is when we put cards in here that, that kind of push we the We should also mention that. that in rare cases you can put two cards in and it doesn't produce anything at all. Which it doesn't mention in the rules, but I think that would make sense if like they're just not matched or something. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know whether that's just faulty. Could be. So we're going to start. You're going to be yellow. I'll be yellow. you be purple. Also, we're going to hold this really close up to the camera. Because it is um, quite quiet. It is, yeah. I, I took a speaker out of like a cheap like fire engine. Yes. <laughs> and it's not, uh, not a very good one compared to the industrial size one that was in there originally. One. And I got a six. Oh, looks like you're going on a date first. Lucky me. So one, two, three, four. All alone by the telephone. <laughs> Take like, a team card. So we, we trade one. Who do you so want to trade? trade? So I'm going to trade Jamie. Who loves stuffed animals and cute boys, but hates snobs and zits. Damn. And I'll take your Jessica. My Jessica. And what does she love? Daydreaming, slumber parties, and hates exercising. And it's your turn. Two. We should probably be playing the tape. Yeah, probably. Blind date. So I can take any... So you have to pick who you're matching first out of your hand. Okay, I think Homer okay. definitely requires a date. So you'll be taking a girl. Oh, with Gert. Loves Latin and algebra, but hates rock music and gym class. So you put them together, face first. Like facing forward. Yep. And nothing happened. So there's one of those rare cases that we just mentioned. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> so... Yeah. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So maybe they're just not compatible. We're not really sure if that's a faulty one or, or whatever's going no, on. No, so I put that. So you keep Homer and Gert goes back where she came from. Okay. And we try again to match someone up. Uh, Ooh, blind Sorry date. about my arm reaching across the screen. I'm going to try matching Danielle. Her blind date of Trent. Loves country music, horses, but well, hates. You can read them if you want to. Heavy but metal music. I'm not going to read them all out. All right, let's hope this one works, and hopefully there'll be a match. So the tape just stopped playing. Shall we see if I can get it working again? That's really weird. <laughs> Gee, she really rejected him. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back. Turn around so I can hear the speaker. Alright, so I got no match, so I'm keeping Danielle and Trent's going back in the blind date pile. What a turkey. Um, uh, when we, before we put this up, we'll try and get the volume as high as we can, so, yeah. as we mentioned, so that you can hear that. So you won't hear us talking while the tape's playing, otherwise you, you'll not be no. able to hear anything. I got a blind date again. Gee. <laughs> I think Homer definitely needs someone this time. So let's try... Nicole. Loves summer vacations, romance stories, but hates term papers. If uh, this turns into a long game, we might skip ahead. Yeah. But if it's short, you'll see it all. Nothing. Gee, poor Homer. Yeah. Let's see. If... <laughs> He's not doing well. Nope. Nope. 
You are not having a good time, are you? I am not. <laughs> ghost stag, so I can put anyone back. Yeah, so ghost stag means you can put someone away that you no longer have to match. Bye, Joel. And we're putting them in the, um, the blind. blind dates. Yep. I'm not sure we've got them all. I think a couple might be missing. Yeah. Six. Six. Blind date. All right, let's try again. Let's, let's try it for Jessica. So we'll get a blind date. Here is Scott. All right. Fingers crossed this one actually works. You wait until it actually starts talking, by the way. You can. You obviously can't see this. But my my head is in my palm. Just I'm just I'm. It's, it's so unbelievably <laughs> so cheesy. Crazy. So we have a match with Jessica and Scott. So I can put them out of the game, and now I only have two more to match and myself. Which is great because I'm not even sure if Homer has a match. <laughs> not at the rate we're going. All oh, right. Boy. So you've only got one more to go. I do. Because you went stag with one, didn't I you? I did. Go Just, stag, yes, all right. Sorry, Homer. Goodbye, Homer, <laughs> since you had so much trouble matching him. <laughs> all right, come on, two. You need new friends, trade a team card. Well, well I guess I'm going- you I've only got Jamie left because you can't trade this one because this is you. Yeah. <laughs> one, me? blind date. All right, this will be a blind date for Adam, if I can pick him up, and he's going out with Stacy. Who's a little bent, the card. Yes, yeah, so hopefully this one will work. All right. It does. That's great. I love the stock music. So obviously in between calls, they play music in between to break them up a bit. We'll just skip this ahead. I'm just bopping along. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> Go, Adam. Um, cool. So, Adam was mine. Yeah. So, I've matched everybody. Now it's just finding a date Ooh. for myself. That was really nice of me to help everyone else first, wasn't Oops. it? Oops. Lost that phone number. No calls to next time. The uh, telephone. Take your team card, which I can't do because... I have none left to trade with you. You do. Unless you want to trade yourself, which is well, a bit weird. Can't do that. Call four. This one over here. Yes. I guess you're going out with Matt. Apparently I am. All so right. he loves maths and football, but hates double dating and haircuts. Okay, so he's going to have long hair soon. Okay. Are we ready? Oh, nothing. Womp womp. Oh, well, I've got no hope there, have I? All right. The search for love. Oh, no, not love. A date continues. Tra trade it. Oh, that's you. That's me. You're over there. Call two. So Jamie and she's going to call Jason. Ooh. Likes traveling, staying up late, but hates TV soap operas specifically. Okay. You don't really like those either, do you? Womp womp. Nothing. Womp. Right, we can take them back. <laughs> so he was from four here. <coughs> sorry. No, he was in two, sorry. Two, yeah. Here. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. All right, five, please. You trade a team trade. card. I can't do that. Surprise party, take a team card. Which apparently we have to play as trading, which you still can't do. Gee, the last game we played of this went much quicker. Oh, I'm on the start space. Call four. Jamie and Matt. Let's hope they get something. <laughs> I'll bet you didn't know if this one would work out or not, huh? But after all that, it's a date. Yes. 
So see, that's one of the ones where we miss the actual call and they just quickly sum it up for you at the end. So which it still they, counts. Which they specifically say in the actual instructions. Yes. So they're out. So I'm just on to my <gasps> Now my it's own. just down to finding our own dates. Six. <laughs> I'm not doing well finding a date for myself, am I? I'm going to have Tina who loves pizza and makeup but hates computers and report cards. Okay. I'm hoping you don't get this because otherwise I've lost. What a weird way to get a date. But that means you've won because you matched yourself with Tina. Yes. So let's just stop the tape for now. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, date one. <laughs> if you can manage to find a stereo with a tape deck mm -hmm. and a working copy of this game with all the pieces, you could have some fun. <laughs> sure. <laughs> It's, it's just one of those things that we had to pick up. As you probably all know, we collect board games, so we... Yeah, yeah. Well, we've got Dream Phone, we've got More Madness somewhere, we've got the other Girl Talk. Yes, which, you know, none of which we've played on the channel, but no. we might, we might. No. <laughs> uh, so what would you say? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Oh, uh, I think it's a bit of good cheesy fun. Yeah. I, I think the amount of equipment nowadays to get it work is not really that useful no. for most people, but... It's like um, VHS games, obviously, if you don't have a... Which we actually kept a VHS player. player just for the board games that take VHS tapes, which is... Yes, we did. So we might... Well, we can't really show a lot of those, no. but we might review them at some point, but not play them. No. But anyway, if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know if you remember this board game or any of the other kind of similar games of that era. Hit subscribe and check us out on Facebook. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.